I am Chazan Rob Menes, and this is a short talk about Torah and the kinds of things that one would learn upon greater study, particularly for a bar bat mitzvah. One of the things that we try to do is try to enable each person to read directly from the Torah, uh, particularly for a Shabbat public reading. And you might wonder, why is that important? And what is so different about reading from the Torah? Well, what you need to know is that the Torah itself is written without vowels, without punctuation, without accent, without melody. And so when we read from the Torah, we actually superimpose a midrash on it. And that midrash, the interpretation, is the one that the Masoretes created back in the ninth century. You see, anytime you sing a text, you actually put your interpretation on top of it. The question would be, what's the proper interpretation for the Torah? Well, the Masoretes spent quite a long time trying to figure out exactly what the right vowels are, what the right punctuation is, which words go together, and which words must be separated. And when we chant from the Torah, we try to present that interpretation of the text. Which is why, if you do not study the text and do not study the cantillation, the chanting of it, you can't know what that interpretation is. A good example of one case where people often do not present the Masoretic interpretation is when we chant the Shema. Most people know the melody, Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad, which is the first line from, from the Shema, which is in uh, Devarim, Deuteronomy chapter 6. And then it goes on to the Via Hafta. Many people know to sing the Via Hafta in this way. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might. However, the way I just sang it was incorrect. That is to say, incorrect according to the Masoretes. They had a different interpretation of it. And this is what's so interesting about the chanting. When you sing, You are separating Levavacha and Nafshecha by singing them in the same way, those melodies are actually what we call disjunctive. They separate. The proper way would be You see, in that, that way, uh, and Nafshecha are connected. So what does that mean in terms of how we understand it? Levavacha, with your heart, nafshacha, with your soul. Are they separate or are they connected? The Masoretes saw it as being connected. And so the way in which we chant that, and that comes directly from Torah, the way in which we chant that 
actually confers meaning.